Among the top 10 high bridges in the world, eight are in China, and five of them are in China's Guizhou province. Did you know there is such a bridge in Guizhou province? With a height of 200 floors, it has become the highest bridge in the world. It is surrounded by clouds and mists for a long time. Driving on the bridge feels like flying an airplane. This bridge is the world-famous Beipan River Bridge. Its length is only 1,341.4 meters, but its height reaches 565.4 meters. We can put down an American Empire State building under it. Due to the complex terrain and extremely difficult construction, the American media once laughed at China that it would take 3,000 years to build such a bridge. However, it took China only three years to complete. So how did China do it? What world-class problems were solved in the process of building the bridge? Besides, after the Beipan River Bridge was completed, the American media changed their tune and said that this is a replica of the Golden Gate Bridge in the United States. Is that true? Hi, everyone. Welcome to Hot Topics Time, a channel to interpret news from a new perspective and explore the wisdom behind the news. Before we start today's video, please subscribe to our channel, which is the encouragement that we can create more videos. Okay, let's continue the topic we are talking about. The completion of the Beipan River Bridge shocked the world, and it also shocked the world's most powerful country, a considerable part of the US media, claiming that China could build the Beipan River Bridge because they obtained the design of the Golden Gate Bridge. Then, by copying the bridge design, China built this bridge that broke multiple world records. However, the Golden Gate Bridge is a suspension bridge, and the Beipan River Bridge is a cable-stayed bridge. Even if the United States handed over all the design drawings of the Golden Gate Bridge to China and allowed China to copy, it is impossible to build the Beipan River Bridge as it is now. At the same time, the construction of the Beipan River Bridge is much more complicated than the Golden Gate Bridge. So, what world-class problems were solved in the process of building the bridge? Okay, please continue watching. First of all, the Beipan River Bridge is located above the Karst landform, which means that before the Beipan River Bridge is built, a geological survey must be carried out under the piers to detect whether there are voids within a few hundred meters below the bridge. It is necessary to pour cement to reinforce these voids to ensure the stability of the foundation of Beipan River Bridge. Otherwise, rushing to build piers above these voids means that the rock foundation of the Beipan River Bridge will collapse under the weight of the bridge itself. In order to eliminate these karst caves, the engineering team first inspected the canyon landform along the 10 kilometers upstream and downstream of the Beipan River, where the bridge is located. This investigation lasted for a whole year. Finally, after accurate survey, the bridge deck was set at a height of 565.4 meters from the bottom of the valley. By the way, this height is not designed by engineers to set a record, but is the result of continuously extending the bridge deck to avoid the cracks in the mountain. The location of the bridge has been found, but during the construction process, the engineers found that there were still some karsts that could not be found. For example, the workers encountered a giant karst cave in the construction of a cable tower pile foundation, with a length of an astonishing 100 meters. However, for this kind of big hole, the engineers still used wisdom to solve it perfectly. When they were driving piles, they carefully passed through the karst cave. If they encountered a small karst hole, they filled it with cement. In addition, in order to enhance the stability of the bridge, the depth of the geological drilling has also reached 110 meters to 120 meters. Therefore, the construction difficulty of Beipan River Bridge has surpassed that of the Golden Gate Bridge, one of the most famous buildings in the United States, from the beginning of the survey. Secondly, the Beipan River Bridge is located on the Yunanguizhou Plateau. There is no shortage of deep pits and canyons in this area. It is very difficult to build roads on it. This means that when China builds the Beipan River Bridge, its logistical support for bridge construction will inevitably be affected to a certain extent. 
Especially on the Yunnan Guizhou Plateau, the complicated roads mean that China cannot pre build modules in factories as in the past and transport them directly to construction sites for hoisting by special transport vehicles like SPMT. Therefore, when the Chinese are building the Beipan River Bridge, they often need to complete the pouring of the bridge modules on site to ensure that the bridge construction process is relatively smooth. Coupled with the relatively harsh climate environment of the Yunnan Guizhou Plateau, the Beipan River Bridge needs to deal with various severe weather such as fog, rain, freezing, and sudden valley winds during the construction process, which can directly cause the dangerous impact of bridge accidents. It is very difficult to build bridges in this area, which also causes the deck height of Beipan River Bridge to be much higher than that of ordinary bridges. The Chinese construction team eliminated the lack of strength of the mountain below the bridge and used a higher bridge deck to avoid the unstable airflow inside the valley, which is also the main reason for the Beipan River Bridge to break the world record. The most powerful technology is the construction of its bridge deck. At the beginning, the engineers adopted a concrete arch bridge combined with a suspension bridge, but considering the towering cliffs and complicated airflow, they finally chose the double locking surface cable stayed bridge with the most stable structure. The stay cables of the Beipan River Bridge are arranged in a fan shaped double row and double lock surface. The upper end is fixed on the tower column, and the lower end anchor is fixed on the steel truss girder. There are 224 state cables in the whole bridge. Incredibly, its diameter is only 15.2 millimeters thick, but it can easily pull up the entire bridge. You must note that the strength of general high specification steel is as high as 460 MPA, while the OVM parallel steel strand cable used in the Beipanjiang Bridge has a tensile strength of over 1860 MPA, far exceeding the international standard. Therefore, although there are always many American experts claiming that the Beipan River Bridge is actually a plagiarism of the American Miracle Project, it is impossible to copy a world miracle with a height of more than 200 floors and a bridge deck length of 13-14 meters simply by plagiarism. If the Chinese have not made breakthroughs in bridge construction technology and rely on their own ability to break through various difficulties, it is impossible to build such a majestic building as the Beipan River Bridge. Now, after the completion of the bridge, the travel distance between Xuanqing and Xueqing has been shortened from the previous four hours to one hour, ending the history of no expressway between the two places. It used to take a few days to walk, but now it only takes two minutes to drive. It has also become a tourist hot pot, attracting tourists from all over the country and even the world to visit, thereby driving the local economic development. Okay, that's all for today. Please put your comments below and share your insightful ideas with other people. Thank you so much for your continuous support. Your precious time with us is highly appreciated. Hot Topics Time, time to explore the wisdom behind the news, we will see you in the next video.